Okay, I just want to talk a little bit about how scripting works to get the game art into the Torque game engine. So this is really just a quick overview. Um, but in the book, uh, we have figures, files, uh, scripts, server, software, videos. I just want to talk a little bit about what's in there and then show you my installation of Torque and, and how those things relate. So first of all, if we go to um, scripts and data and shapes, and we'll just go to shapes here and you can see there's an astronaut folder, there's a robot folder. Let's look at the robot folder. The robot folder has got all the different data necessary for that character. For example, the robot.cs file which tells the robot how to animate. Or the robot.dts folder that gives a, that is the shape file that was created in 3D Studio Max and exported for Torque. Let's look at that CS file though. I'm going to right click and go to open with notepad. And this is a very simple data block for Torque that tells Torque about the shape that's being used for that character, the root file which is where it just breathes or kind of slightly moves and gets ready for the next action, and the forward cycle which is the run cycle. So it's very simple for the robot. Let's look, you can see you've got a footprint here and some other things. Let's look now at the uh, astronaut folder. Pretty much the same. You've got a CS folder. You've got a lot of different DSQ file which, files, which are the uh, animation files for jumping and landing and root and side running and so forth. Let's go to the CS file for the astronaut. Looking again, just using Notepad, you can see that these CS files are, are they're C scripts. And there's nothing that uh, mysterious about them. This is something anybody can do. In a lot of cases, you're just altering an existing CS file and making it say what you want it to say. So here you can see that I'm calling out the astronaut.dts for the shape file, and then I've got several animations being called out here. And these do have to be in order, by the way. If you change the order of these, uh, things won't work. So now let's look at my installation of Torque over here on the right. So I've got an installation of Torque where I'm if you go down to the SDK file, that's your main folder when you first install Torque. Then if you go to example and starter.fps, that's where your first person shooter data is located. And then I've got a client data and server folder. So let's look at data and let's look at shapes. And here you can see an exact parallel to what we have in the book. Now when you first install Torque, you don't have an astronaut folder. And you don't have a, a ray gun and a rail gun and a robot folder you would have to copy those folders in here or if you're doing something of your own without those characters but with your own characters you just copy those folders in here but how does Torque know to grab this data uh, and use it that is found in the server scripts area so let's look at player.cs in the server scripts folder I'll go to notepad once again and uh, first, you can see that this player is calling, this player CS file is calling astronaut.cs. So obviously we're going to be using the astronaut as our main player. And this is telling the astronaut how to animate and what shape is being used for that animation. And if we go down a little bit, you'll see... the footprint for the player is found in astronaut and if you look for the body for the player that's the DTS file that's found in the astronaut folder and uh, there's more we could talk about there let's move on to how about the player 2 you can have two players in the game so let's go to notepad and player 2 is the robot and moving down There's the footprint for player two. And here's the shape being used for player two. So if you call out your data properly in these script files, Torque will see it and you'll see your game art in the game. Uh, one other thing I would mention here. One confusing aspect for a lot of people is um, you need to, in your example folder, under 
main.cs. I'm going to open up Notepad. Make sure that your default game is starter.fpx. And then when you launch torque.exe by double clicking in this example folder, it will launch the FPS version of the game and then it'll see your game art, hopefully, if you've done your script files right.